I'm at my first ever artist alley and I have a microphone and let's hope it works. Um, sorry if it doesn't sound the best. I know that whenever I touch it, it's not that great, but we're actually, we we're finally done setting up and I kind of did an oopsie. I kind of did an oopsie. So I thought whenever I got the table, it said that it was going to be a six by, it was going to be a six foot table and I have a six foot table at home. So I was like, okay, but I was like, I'm, I'm set. Um, we got here and it is not a six foot table. It is bigger than that. So this is how it's looking, but <laughs> we're going to have to pass by somewhere after to get a better, better thing. Cause I want to put my banner, but I can't put my banner due to it slipping. Look, it's so ghetto. It's so ghetto, but we're, we're here. We're happy. Um, people are still setting up. And there were supposed to be people in front of us, but I guess there's not going to be. Oh, well. And I hope they come tomorrow because it's already so empty. But thankfully, we are next to the restrooms and the food court. And the next palette. Just don't look in the back. Oh, my gosh. Like, it's a little empty, but um. <laughs> oh, my God. It's okay. I am a little sick. Um, darn chronic illnesses. Darn my autoimmune. Every time I have like an event coming up, I always flare up. Fibromyalgia is no joke. I hate it. Um, but we are out here. I'm super excited. Um, I know oh, people are having really pretty lights. I need to upgrade my setup. I know I've been I've been upgrading my setup since the first time I ever vendor. I've been upgrading, but every time I'm like, ooh, I look around. I'm just like, one day I'll be I'll be with the big boy. We are back on day two of Anime Matsuri. Yesterday was very interesting. It, I mean, but let me show you how the table looks now, okay? Because yesterday was way different. And they are finally setting up the stage as well. Okay, so now we have this facing this way because I felt like I didn't really have much. I bought my second table, a new banner. Well, it's the same, but it's different. The other one wasn't really working. And I, bought, I had to go to Dollar Tree to get this. So this, it trails off. And then that way people can see my work from different angles. Because yesterday, the only thing you could see was my ugly back. So I'm happy. Let's hope today is way better than yesterday. Um, I will talk a bit more later I think after the weekend's over regarding how I did I mean this is my first ever anime masuri I don't know how I feel about the location I mean it's kind of cool that I'm next to the stage but it's like super empty here if the people that were supposed to be on that side then I feel like people would be more inclined to come because then there's more to see There's like, there's some birds flying around, which honestly makes me really sad because like, how are they gonna get home? <laughs> I hope they're being fed. Well, I think they are being fed somehow. Maybe they're eating some of the popcorn or just something because they're pooping. They're pooping out here. Um, they got my sister, can you believe that? She was like sitting right in the corner, or right in the sleeve. Y'all, the fucking bird shitting on my table, bro. Oh my god, that fucking bird. The poor birds, though. Poor birds, I will say. Poor birds.
second day of Anu. Let's do the all done. Honestly, today was so much better than yesterday. I know Thursdays are usually like slower. Um, so many people are working. It's a Thursday. I mean, it makes sense. Um, today, Friday, thankfully, was so much better. And I felt so much more confident with my table than yesterday. So that's also, I was very happy. Can't wait to see tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, Saturdays tend to be the busiest. So I honestly can't wait to see how it goes. This is my first ever anime uh, convention or convention in general or artist alley. <laughs> so um, let's see. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the experience. Can't wait to see how I do by the end of it. We are on our third day of Anime Matsuri and honestly, I am a little sad. I was, I mean, it started kind of good. I already made a sale before the event started, but the person that was there at the end moved. So now it's even emptier where I'm at. Thankfully, like I said, I still have that stage. Hopefully it will bring people in, but uh, people see a lot of people moving and then that person wanted to move as well and I was like, please, no. We'll see how today goes. It's Saturday, it's supposed to be the busiest day, so let's hope that I do well. But that really sucks because I'm at the very end. This place is huge and I'm at the very end and it's already empty. So we'll see how today goes. He's awesome. Bruh. 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 So close. Oh my gosh. Bro, what the fuck? Bruh. Y'all, the birds are going crazy out here, dude. They're like literally pooping everywhere. They're like, this entire section is like full of poop. Um, so far, it's going so great. I definitely already made my poof back. My hair is a mess, but we out here, it's okay. I am also wearing Spooky Alien Queenie. Those earrings are so cute. Oh my gosh, y'all. I accidentally, yesterday when I went to, <laughs> to get something from her, I grabbed one of her bracelets and I accidentally snapped one. Oh my gosh, she was super sweet though. Like, she was like, no, it's okay. And I'm like, no. Yeah. That was so embarrassing. But um, thankfully, she's a sweetheart and I got these from her. I'm definitely not used to making videos for sure. Oh my goodness. And people are watching me and I'm just like, <laughs> But honestly, so far, Saturday has been really great. Honestly, I was a little scared. I was very scared, actually. After um, Thursday and Friday, I was like, oof, this is... And also this morning when I came in, I was like, oh, no. Um, it was very empty this side. But I'm happy that people are still coming to see my table. Honestly, I'm just really happy with the experience. You know what the funny part thing is too? Maybe I just need to make more videos is that as soon as I want to make a video, people are like, people start walking in this area. As I was saying, as soon as I start making a video, people start walking in this area. But then when I'm not, it's like super dead. So then I'm like, okay, let me, let me, let me continue the video.
hello it is our last day at anime matsuri and honestly i am so tired we decided to go to the am club last night it was honestly really fun we only stayed for just a little bit we just might as well since we were here and it's our first time get the full experience right <laughs> um but honestly i've been hearing a lot of stuff from other artists like oh some gossip i'm like oh my god i did not know so apparently there's a lot of controversy regarding anime matsuri like i know i've seen videos of them talking that it's like kind of like a slow convention compared to other ones but you know i see a lot of my friends come and i'm just like let me just try it it's local i don't see many conventions that come to houston so i was like let me just try it for my first one honestly just happy with the experience and just the fact that i made my money back that's always like <laughs> like that's always the goal at least right as well as profit but we will see after today how much profit we made that's always tricky to figure out <laughs> as like you're doing it right but i had a lot of other different artists come and talk to me um regarding just like i guess like sharing their experience how their their experiences has also been super slow how i've had people tell me that these conventions are not usually like this and how this is like one of the slowest ones i've had somebody come and tell me that this is actually their last year coming to anime matsuri they've been doing it for many years it's interesting seeing other people's experiencing and knowing that i'm not the only one that thinks that it's kind of like mm. And also the whole controversy with the guy. I'm not really 100% sure what's going on. I've just been hearing that there's a controversy about it and to watch some videos about it. So I think I will because I'm curious. I like some gossip. I'm curious. Also, because you see that? You see that? These birds, bro. These birds. Oh my God. I'm finally going to use this even though I have no idea how to use it. We are about to learn hello hello we are back at my place now um we're doing i guess what are my thoughts about anime maturi and it being my first ever convention just i guess like a little recap now nobody hate me this is just my personal experience and opinion okay um honestly I was, I mean, from the very beginning, I wasn't really expecting too much. I've already heard things about it before it, but I'm local and I haven't really known other conventions to really apply to or really join, especially the art in Houston. Um, a lot of them are like in Cali or literally different states. So, and in Missouri, coming i think last year i saw that they were coming to houston for 2024 i was like let me try it now oh my gosh if you hear my cat in the background he's fighting a box that's his box so whatever but um i don't really want to go too much into anime but seriously like, i don't want to go too much into it all i know is that i think they're going they they know that there were issues um, and I think that is why they are doing like little, I guess they're changing certain things. Cause like for this anime Matsuri, it was, you only got one batch. I spent almost $500, um, for the, for the booth, um, with a table. Plus I had to get an additional artist batch for an assistant for Holden, um, my fiance. I also wanted to get one for my sister, but she had already gotten one for, um, the four day pass i tried emailing them and trying to see if we could like do something about that but um no they never replied so it's okay it's okay but i know that next year they are giving out three artists valley i don't know 100 sure but i think it's like they're giving out three at least um so that would really help like cost wise right honestly i'm really glad that other artists kind of were telling me like they would come up to me and like i guess see, they're really friendly i'm really happy about that everybody was like super friendly and that really helped a lot especially on my first ever convention i was like oh my gosh i'm here with the freaking big boys i'm here with professionals i'm here with people that are bigger like i'm like a nobody yet mm, that's how i felt okay but of course like you know, I kept trying to remind myself, like, this is my first one. Like, don't be too harsh on yourself. You know, we all start somewhere. Um, but I had many people come up to me and they were like, oh, this is your first one. And they were like, no, like, this is a bad one for your first one. <laughs> I was like, okay. Like, 
things like that. I don't know why it kind of helped me like not feel so terrible about myself because the first and second day were really bad. Hearing the artists and other exhibitors, I guess, experience and how they were also experiencing really, really low um, low days and low goals. They weren't like really hitting their goals either. And they were even telling me like in the exhibitor, they're like, no, like it's super slow where I'm at. And other people in like premium spots are like, no, it's super slow where I'm at too. And I'm here like, dang. And where I was, it was dead. Like it was dead. Majority of the time, it was dead. That I was, you know, if it wasn't for like the little artist, artist alley like stage, I don't think there would have been like any really traffic going towards that area in my area like the other side it was a bit more busy because there were more people but where I was it was just only two of us regardless of everything though I had a wonderful great time I had so much fun this was a great experience and honestly if I had just made a little bit more money I would be back next year but um on, oh yeah 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 so a lot of people were telling me to join NostalgiaCon and a lot of like it was like a great amount everybody was telling me to join NostalgiaCon and that they were going to be there and that they want to see me there so guess what I did I joined NostalgiaCon but yeah like I was saying if I had made just a little bit more money I would be back next year because I still want to do anime Maturi it is local and it was still fun I still made a good amount of money don't get me wrong like I'm not hating (laughs) I'm not hating at all like I hit my at least my goal of like making double what the fuck I put in okay I did a little bit more than that so I'm actually really happy about that because I didn't even think I was even gonna make my booth back that's how bad it was I was like I literally was trying to stay so positive through it all I was like it's okay if I don't even make my booth back I had never ever been to any anime convention so I'm like oh like like let's just think about it like if I just bought like a four-day pass like it's fine you know I still get the like the anime convention experience so and if I don't make my money back it'll be fine I was just really trying to stay positive through it all and then once I did make my money back I was like okay let's let's see if we can make some profit and we did and I was like okay let's see if we can hit a thousand and we did I was like oh I was like Honestly, just trying to say positive really freaking helps because if everything goes wrong, you're still okay. You know what I mean? You're still okay. You're like, it's okay. But if things work out, then even better, even better. But um, yeah, I don't think I'll be joining next year Anime Mystery, but I do want to join any future events. I really do think that they're going to be improving a lot of things. <laughs> I was like, hopefully next time I'm back, there will be improvements and not so much controversy between things. Because some people said they didn't even want to promote that they were being an anime material because of the controversy, which is so crazy. I was like, what? Like, I didn't even know there was anything going on. So that's insane. But yeah, yeah. So I'll be at Nostalgia Con. I think honestly, I prefer cartoons, nostalgic cartoons over anime. And I'm so sorry. Don't hate me on it. Don't hate me on it. But if you do see my art, I have a lot of cartoons. I did not have that much anime. And to be honest, that's my bad. That is my bad. I was like, okay, I'm going to be on it. And I was not on it. I was not. I had so many other shows that I was preparing for. And I thought I had more time. And then I keep, I obviously, I, I have a chronic illness. So that really impacts how much I do get done. Because I get really sick. Like I get tremors. I have migraines. I throw up. Some days I can't feel my hands. So it... There's many things that like have been holding me back from a- achieving my full potential. But guess what? I'm going to keep going. You know, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep doing more and more and more. And the next time for Anime with Siri or another anime convention, I should have more stuff. Now, do you want to see a small haul that I did? We did. My sister actually bought this for Holden she's so sweet and on the last day i actually got this for my sister it's from chobit it's so cute she likes kawaii things like very cute things so i'm like i think she'll like this and holden got me this art print that i love 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 oh my gosh i love this art print he also got me these two stickers from the same person as the saika and of course we can't forget these cute little earrings that i got from spooky alien queenie now this is sticker hoarder this is what i originally went 
like looking forward to because I was like, I need a sticker book because I'm a hoarder. I literally have a box just full of stickers. I'm like, let me just put them in this. That way I can just like look through them, like actually look through them rather than go. <laughs> My phone's about to die. So I'm trying to do this quick. I'm sorry. Look, I did a trait. Look at this. So cute. Oh my god, hold on. This this one's so cute. Holy crap. And look at these earrings. I did a trade. Um, I gave them one of my art prints and I gave a sticker. And I'm gonna put the people from this art trade. So you're ready to this one. Okay. Art. Yeah, so happy. Look at this. This is so me. Like what? This is so me. And then look at these earrings. Oh my god. They're like little cute houses with clouds. Like, oh my gosh, y'all, what? And I got this as a trade, what? Also, I don't know if you guys watch Pepper Cut, but I do. And I'm like, I was geeking out when I saw her at Anime Missouri. I was like literally geeking out. I was like, oh my God. Like I was with my sister and my sister got me this cute little um, sticker sheet. And she gave me this free sticker for watching her YouTube videos. Like, so cute. Also, almost everybody was wearing one of these trash king. Like, and I was wondering, I was like, wait, what? I want one of those. Where'd you get them? And thankfully, the person that was handing them out came to my booth and gave me one. And gave Holden one as well. Also, this. Now, this, um, I think Holden got it at the 18 plus area. Dude, oh my god gosh that was very interesting i also have nick fury they were like handing these out um i don't know where holden got them he was just out there getting free shit i was like okay all right i also got this cute little freaking pin for free if i followed um the person um i forgot their name but i did follow them i did follow them. i also got free stickers by so cute what i need to start giving out free stickers too Especially now that I have my printer and I cut them by hand. Oh, so I actually started watching, um, uh, I forgot the name of this, but I know it's Wanda and, <laughs> and Cosmo and what's it called? I don't remember. My brain ain't braining. And then I go, I also like to collect business cards because look at these. These are so cute. Like what? I'm broke. So sometimes I can't buy something. But I can get the business card and keep it. Look, and I'll be like, ooh, when, whenever I do have money, I can look them up. Wonderful. Big recap. The birds pooped everywhere. I didn't even get to film every time they pooped. Like, it was that much. I was, like, literally cleaning, 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 cleaning. And the fact that my sister got pooped on twice, how unlucky. Honestly, for how slow my section was. All things considering, I do think that Anime Matsuri was a success for me. I was able to hit my goals and I didn't lose money. That always is wonderful. Now, I do, like I said, if I had just made a little bit more money, I would have been able to afford Anime Matsuri for next year and NostalgiaCon. But since I didn't make as much as I was really hoping for, I could only afford NostalgiaCon and it's like a smaller fee. So I'm actually really excited for it. It also really works out the fact that it's in December 6th towards the 8th. That way I can end the year in a very good positive note with another little convention. And I'm actually really excited because I love nostalgic cartoons. I love the old cartoons, the 90s, 2000s. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really tired, so I think it's time for me to relax. I went to work this morning and I've been up since really early. So I think it's time. It's like 9 p.m. now. I still am feeling a little bit under the weather due to my illness, so I really... Mm, my energy is going... <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and being interested in how my first ever convention went. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and if you saw me, let me know under the comments. I'm actually really curious to see if anybody recognizes me. Alright, bye y'all. Get some rest too. Get some rest.